Hello viewers and welcome to part one of my second favorite game of all time. Because Paper Mario was my first. Frame rate drop. Uh, this is Banjo Tooie. I love this game. I really do. It's probably in my top list of favorite games. Why is it lagging? I guess the waterfall in the background would do it. You can hear it. Um, the first episode, technically wasn't the first episode, it was the intro, because the intro was way too freaking long. So, this is gonna be episode one, I guess. So, we retain all, basically, this goes off of Banjo, um, Banjo-Kazooie. So, you have pretty much everything you had in Banjo-Kazooie. And if you haven't played Banjo-Kazooie, well then... I don't know what to say. Except, go and watch... Go and watch, I believe... Josh Jepson or X the Music. They did Let's Plays of Banjo-Kazooie. That I watched. And I like those. So those would be good ones to go and watch. Yes, promoting other Let's Players on the channel. Camera view, camera view, thank you. No, wrong buttons. Not. I'm using the same emulator, and I'm using an Xbox controller. And I played the Xbox version of this game, which wasn't the same. It made me mildly sad. They changed around a few things. But I decided, I love the original, so I decided to get it. Klungo, minion with a mission. What is Klungo? A green gorilla? I caused so much trouble to Mr. Scunty. I don't recall anything like that happening. Yeah, when did that happen? You is stupid. At least we can speak properly. Oh, diss on his speech impediment. Klungo mad now. Well, okay. Potion. Eight the potion. He's invisible. There we go. Being X, it's not X. This is a freaking N64 version. Erg. B is to attack. Now he's gonna throw potions, run around. He's gonna turn invisible. Roll into him right away. It's the easiest way to beat him. He's really easy. He's basically the intro boss. And three hits and he's dead. Not that hard. So, beat Klungo, nasty bear and bird hurts Klungo. Yeah, you asked for it, you trapped us in here. Why don't you run off and we'll forget this ever happened? Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> good idea. You haven't seen the last of Klungo. Klungo coming, mistress. Please beat failure, Klungo, with boomstick. Uh, okay. You picked up a honeycomb. Get help. Okay, now I just realized that I picked up a piece of paper a while ago, and I didn't explain that. Though I'm pretty sure Cheeto the Cheating Book did. It's a Cheeto page, and there are 25 of them? I believe? Yeah, there are 25 in the game, and every time you get five, go talk to him, and you'll get a cheat code. And they are really, really helpful for completing the game. Now, I will say that there is, throughout this whole game, there is only one instance where I will actually be using a non-Cheeto cheat code. 
and the reason I will is there's an item that I cannot get if I don't use cheat code. I'm sorry if that offends you, it's just I cannot do it. I've tried. Many times. With many failures. That's a shortcut tunnel, we'll use those later. When you unlock more and more worlds. I hate the game's slowdown frame rate. Urgh. Walk forward. Giant. King Jingling. King Jingling, King of the Jinjos. Yo, what's up? I'm King Jingling, King of all things Jinjo. <laughs> sup, yo, I'm the king. Your kingdom seems a bit empty. My people were scared away by those witches and their giant machine. I kinda like the quiet, but I need to get them all back for the kickball tournament. Next week. It doesn't seem that important to me. Yeah, it doesn't. But it is. There's a big kickball rivalry between the Jinjos and the Moles. Which means there could be big trouble if we don't turn up. Yeah, he'll forfeit. Oh dear. Exactly. Here's an incentive for you to rescue my peoples. Rescue my peeps. A Jiggy! Well, that's nice of you. I believe you should go see Master Jiggy Wee in his temple. Jiggy who? Yeah. Jiggy Wee, he's the leader of the secret ancient order of the mystical powers of the Crystal Jiggy. Ancient order? Yeah. You just made that up, didn't you? No, honest. It's all true. It's very important to your adventure. Only the Crystal Jiggy can open the worlds. Can you show us the way, King Dingling? Yes, and Dingling. Bottle's house. Thank you. Okay, now, I'm gonna say this quick while I'm doing this. I'm gonna try and keep the episodes between 10 to 14 minutes-ish. Or 12 to 14 minutes. Not bad for a king. The strange pet thingy is cool. Anyway, I'm gonna try and keep these between 12 to 14 minutes, I guess. So, unlike Paper Mario, I try to go to 15, but then end up going over by a couple seconds, or in the last two episode case, one to two minutes. And I really don't want to do that. So, each episode is going to be around 12 minutes-ish. So this is going to be slightly shorter than the Paper Mario. But this game is slightly shorter than Paper Mario, so... That's a very big ray gun you have there. Bob. I'm grunting you and your rhymes. It's, oh. Oh, snap. You can't rhyme? So you talk in rhyme, when you don't talk in rhyme, you talk like a normal person. The big O blaster. Wow, that's a big gun. Grunty's life force. Grunty will take a shower to stop smelling and you'll get a new body. Then you can make that one smell. How long will it take? <laughs> You're fat, so it'll take a long time. Target you must pick. Wait, how did you know he gave us a Jiggy? Were you spying on him the whole time? Uh, 
What about Jingle? What about Jingling? We've been spying on him secretly. While he changes at night. That's disturbing. So. Bob. I love when they named it Bob. Green laser beam. Sucking energy. He will steal the life force from the ginger. Turning it gray. Depressing. What about jingling? He's a zombie now. He's just a zombie. Wow, he got a he had a third of the life force. Damn. That's a lot of life. Why did I just swear? Well, I don't know. Would that be considered a swear? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to swear, even though this game does get annoying at times. It will be very annoying at times. I'll be... There will be parts where I will be doing a lot of video cutting. Cutting? Cutting? Cutting editing. Cutting. What's <laughs> that? It's a new word I made up. Uh, Grunty's signature trademark laugh of evil. Okay. More cutscenes. Mm. Bottled sass. So this episode's been going on for, according to the recorder, about 12 minutes. So, and that's about the time I want it to be at. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Banjo Tooie, we enter. Bottle's underground house thing. And we go to the next area. See you guys then!